Now it's time to celebrate 10 seasons of The Steve Wilco Show. It's no secret my wife is the executive producer of my show. I talk about her all the time, and she hates it. I remember when the show first started, every time Steve talked about me and our kids, I cut it out of the show. But he did it so much, it became a part of the show and who he is as a host. So I had to start leaving it in. Oh, I did mine no, first. my wife said no. <laughs> you see who calls the shots around here, right? You with your wife, right? Because I hear you talking about your wife yeah. a lot, right? Yeah. If you and your it, wife, yeah. if your wife leave, okay, if you, you and Steve broke up for two, for two, for <laughs> even two weeks, right? Two weeks. And isn't that cheating? Isn't that cheating? If you don't let the person know that y'all broken up and he sleeps with another woman, did y'all break up officially? No, so you cheated. <laughs> You can look me in my eyes and tell me over it's over. Over and across. The sex was good. The porch house was good. Everything was good. But... Oh, is it, is it, me. I can't make her come home with you. Please. I mean, I want to come home with you and eat those pork chops. I mean, really. You're a very lovely person. You're very emotional. You, you carry your heart on your sleeve. Those are things that I, I, I'm attracted to. I, I think you're a great woman. Well, will you marry me? Oh. You no, know, it was a joke. I was just trying to make. No. <laughs> I'm very lucky. I have a great wife. I have a great family. Um, but I, I think there's somebody out there for you. And I think somebody would love you just as much as I love my wife. Sometimes my wife is over there at her podium and she gets so fired up that I just want her to do the show. And it's usually shows about bad moms. My most hated guest ever <laughs> was a woman named Shannon who had a two-year-old son and her new boyfriend decided that he just didn't want her to have her son anymore. So she thought the father of the child could have potentially been a one night stand. She didn't even really know if it was the father or not, but she took this little boy and just dropped him off on his doorstep. My wife wants to rush the stage at you right now. I'm, my security's gonna have to hold my wife back. She hates this story so much, she doesn't like you very much and she's pissed off. You let a man make you give away your son. I've had murderers on this stage. I've had people that raped little kids. I've had people destroy family members' lives for their own sexual gratification. And you're right up there with all of them. You're right up there with all of them. To make matters worse, when Steve asked, how's your relationship now that your son is gone, her answer infuriated me even more. How is your relationship with Terry? Is it much better now that the little two-year-old's not around? Yes, it's a whole lot better. Oh, great. <laughs> Have we ever had a more despicable person on my stage? You gave your son away for a guy. It took me six months to make this decision. Six months. And it took, oh. and it took her two days, two days. to step not up even. to the plate and help me with him, even though he's not her mother. And the only reason why I'm not even more outraged and I'm not tearing my studio apart right now is because at least the boy's in a good place. So wherever hell is, Go find it.